Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99 and today we're back at the 2-in-1 apartment. In the last episode we did up the lounge area and the kitchen area. So now we've got the dining room area and possibly a cosy reading area or something because there's definitely some other furniture in here. So the first item they want us to add for the dining room is the Kenoa dining table. I think the sort of grey wood is probably going to fit in quite nicely because it's quite light but it's a contrast against the walls. If we went for a white table it would be just too much. And the Kenoa light coloured chair, so we'll, yeah the light grey will match beautifully. And they want six, okay so we'll need to put them at the ends. Is this the best orientation for the table or do we want to be... Definitely a little bit further away from the wall. I'm not sure how much space we've got here, so I'm going to use it in this orientation first. And if we've not got enough space, we might need to rotate it all. But like I said before, we'll try and put in all the pieces of furniture they want and see how everything fits, and then decide if we need to change it. I think we have got enough space to put it, instead of horizontally, we could put it um, vertically. So I think we could like 90 degree rotate it and it would all still fit nicely but I kind of prefer more space around the table as it stands at the moment but I think there's quite a lot of pieces of furniture that they want here look kind of a cabinet so that's probably meant for in here now we could put it under uh, under the window or on the table on this wall here by the kitchen those are probably the two choices aren't they for that That would actually be quite a nice fit place, wouldn't it, there? If I can just get the positioning correct. There we go. I think that's most of the dining furniture. But that doesn't leave us an awful lot of space in the centre here. So, like I said, we might need to move things because there's still quite a lot of stuff left. A very light-coloured two-person couch. Hmm. So we could go for, like, a cream and kind of blend our brown leather area with our grey dining area or we could go for the grey and blend it into the dining room kind of like the grey because it's such a modern style design isn't it here oh actually that would fit quite nicely if we make it like parallel to the wall between the doors wouldn't it unless no uh, unless they want two do they no they just want one yeah that's right so if we make it kind of parallel to the wall between the two doors and then they want two chairs, so we'll match the colours on the chairs and then we'll kind of put those at the side and then we'll see how much space we've got. That's a little bit close to the dining room table, isn't it? And that is very close to the brown chair, so... Ooh. Yes, this is a bit of a tight fit actually, isn't it? Although it looks like a huge area to use, once you start putting all the furniture in, it's actually making it very tight fit. Mm. I think we might have to rotate the dining table to give us a little bit more space in the centre. So we can try and adjust it a bit closer to the wall. But I think it's just going to look very, very cramped. So that gives us a little bit more space. That could work. Still feels a little bit cramped because you've not really got much way to get through as access to the patio doors then, is there? Because there's not enough space between the chairs. You kind of have to be dodging around furniture to get to the patio doors to get out onto the balcony. I don't like that, I think that's far too much furniture for the space that we've got. So what do we want? We want some oval end tables. So we kind of put those at the end of the couch. Yeah, both sides of the couch. Rotate it so they're in the same. Actually, which way is the better way? It's probably better that way because the handle's kind of in the way if you want to put cups and things on there then, isn't it? I need to rotate. That. There we go, much better, much better. Alright, what else we got? We've got a lot of pictures, a fireplace, that'll have to go on the wall 
straight in front of the sofa here. I hope it fits on there, that's the only space we've got, it's got to fit, it's got to fit, that's the only space we've got, it's got to fit there, yeah. Well that makes it even more cramped as access points to the uh, doors. Yeah, we're going to have to rotate this. Um, I'm going to have to move the chair so that I've got space to rotate the um, table, aren't I? Mm. Have I got enough space to do that? Or am I going to need to move the other chair? Oops. Uh, there's not enough space to rotate things. <laughs> So we could put the table and chairs in the middle there. And then we'd have to move this all the way across here for the, make this alcove into the dining room. Do you know what? I'd prefer the dining room right on the end next to the kitchen. I I prefer it. I prefer the table next to, right next to the kitchen. It just seems a better choice of space. Though to be honest, the, the fireplace on this wall here it might actually look better. But I want the dining room closest to the kitchen, it just feels better to me to have it in that position. And if we rotate it this way, it will give us more space for the furniture in between. Though the group of furniture in won't be quite grouped properly around the fireplace, will it? For the, the extra space is now on this side. Okay, so, so yeah, I think that maybe there's a little bit too much furniture has been put in this particular space. It's like we've got two different dining room suites, uh, and not dining room suites, um, lounge suites in, in one space. It seems a little odd to me to have a lounge there in that corner and then another lounge here. Is that just me or is it, it just, am I being silly? It just feels like there's too many lounging areas right next to each other with different furniture. Wouldn't it have been better to kind of make it a bigger seating area with the same furniture in both spots? Hmm. Yes, this is the, one of the first design things that I don't really agree with with these designs. I think up to now they've been really, really, really spot on and lovely, but this one's just a little bit odd to me to have two sets of sofas and stuff. I think we can make everything fit though and still give us access to the doors. I think it's going to work. Just feel a bit cramped, but it can work. There we go. It's all sorted right now. Well, we're going to put the. Uh, I don't think they're good on the side tables, and I don't think you want that on your dining room table. We could put one on the dresser. Well, they want three, so that's like they want them on the side table, but I, I think those side tables kind of feel more like you put a book or a magazine or a cup of coffee or something there. See, that just looks wrong, doesn't it, on the table? They're going to have to go on the little side tables by the sofa, aren't they? I don't like that either. No, I don't like that. That's where they're going to have to go, though, but I don't like that. <laughs> Right, all we've got now is um, three posters. Now I'm sure we can find space for that. Though, to be honest, there isn't an awful lot of space look on the walls. Uh, one's going to have to go above the fireplace and then the other two in the dining room area, maybe. How are we going to group them? Do we try and put them all in separate sections or do we put them all like side by side? I think I prefer to split them up a bit. I like if we put one either side of the window. I don't really like pictures above fireplaces, to be honest. Maybe we put all three in the dining room area. So we put it on this wall here, next to the air conditioner. Beautiful. There we go. Look, we're completed. Yay! The whole thing is completed. And it's not quite as cramped looking as I thought it was going to be. Not bad. Not bad. Move the chair across a little bit because it's not um, symmetrical. Beautiful. I think we're about done. I would prefer a little bit better access around, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Cool. I think we're completed. Lovely. We have completed the two-in-one job. That's rather pretty, actually. Very, very modern. 
think my favourite bit to this room is the kitchen. And I really like the bedroom as well. So we'll have a quick walk through the place again, just so you can see everything that we've done in all of the episodes. Quick view out over the sea again. Nice views from this balcony. They didn't ask us to do anything with the balcony, but some really nice views across the new little town for this. Beautiful. This is probably the best location for actually seeing the whole of the town. And that's a lovely view of the Moonrise Bay sign on for there as well. Yeah, so let's have a quick walk through. So dining room area. Lovely kitchen. First seating area with the fireplace. Second cosy seating area. I like that one better than the one that's kind of cramped in the middle. Beautiful kitchen. This is, this is possibly my favourite section of this house. That kitchen's lovely. Little powder room for your guests. Bedroom. Really like this room as well. I like the colour combinations. It's probably not one I would have thought of myself and the orange really works quite well. I might think about using that in one of my own places later. The ensuite bathroom for the master bedroom. And then the walk-in closet. Which used to be a kitchen, but is now a great big walk-in closet. And then, through our sliding glass doors, is access to the little foyer place. It's not got a ton of furniture in there, just a nice simple foyer and access to the elevator out of the building. So there you go, two in one place. Completed. Let's take a look at our before and after pictures. Oh, that's a huge difference, isn't it? Beautiful. There you go, kitchen to walk-in closet, beautiful. Nice cosy seating area. Ensuite bathroom. Clear balcony. Lovely views through all the French doors, isn't it? So we'll head back to our own house and our office and we'll take a look at what that job looks like. Now it's a purchasable place for us to go and renovate it for ourselves so we'll see what they've done with it how much it's going to cost us and uh, what it looks like from the before and after photos so for our job it was a cocktail lounge and a tiny apartment so let's see what it's going to be now so full purchase looking for the ones with the little red markers on them right model apartment we've done picturesque loft we've done house was on fire we've done the yacht there we go. Top notch apartment. £128,000, £833. The top floor of a luxury tenement house for sale. The place has direct elevator access and a private terrace with a city and ocean view. Oh, so a luxury tenement. So it's going to be lots of little apartments then. So, oh, it's a very bad mess. There's going to be lots of little tiny studio apartments. Oh yeah, that's the studio apartment. Oh, so we're going to be knocking a lot of walls out probably and changing the layouts. All right, well, so we'll probably get around to doing these in the new year now because we're getting close to Christmas. So hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Soft Kitty 99, goodbye and happy gaming!